Hi Simmers and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today and thanks for tuning in with me for this tutorial on how to build a pond in the Sims 4 base game after the new update. It's time to learn something new really fast. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the terrain tool. The whole panel is updated so watch for that but it's still the icon with the shovel and the pond on it. Players also have a new water depth map feature in the game. You can choose whether or not to have the water depth shown on the map. I did because I thought it was fun. So the first thing you have to click on is the third icon, the shovel icon, and that's the tool to make the hole in the ground. Then you can use the third icon if you want to fill the water to that height, but that did not work out for me. I used the first icon, the raised water icon, to incrementally add water to the pond. Yay, looking good. So from there, you can go crazy and choose from a bunch of new colors for whatever kind of swamp um, pond that you want. There are four new color options to choose from too. And in addition to that, there are now pond effects. So this is where it gets exciting. I didn't think anything of this originally because they were big and I had to enable BB move objects to get any of these options even into the pond. But then once I had them on screen, they also looked so ridiculous that I was like, I didn't just pay 50 simoleons for a card picture of a gator in my swamp. What is this, Florida? OMG, no offense, but I've been to Florida. I've seen the gators. Been that, done there, lol. And back to the tutorial. These swans were a good idea. Whoever put that in the update, like, good for you. That's got to be one of my favorite pond accoutrements. I want everyone to make sure they know that there's also now a log with turtles available for all players in the base game. I think it's cute that you can click to have the turtle appear on the log whenever you want and he will chill there until you click again and kick him off. Sims can also wade in the water if that's your thing. They can splash around and look for frogs too. It's gonna be great for the rags to riches challenge simmers. Oh yeah, and the, the gator's gonna eat the kid there. But actually, that wouldn't be The Sims, lol. That would be a different game, am I right? Okay, so with the swans, the tadpoles, dragonflies, and gators, there's a lot to explore in the new base game update. And what's your favorite thing about the update? Let me know in the comments and be sure to give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots of things Sims and Batu. I hope this video helped you build a pond in The Sims 4 too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!